everybody, Stephanie from Elevate Yourself Fitness. I wanted to come on and give you a update um, on how the pregnancy is going so far. Um, I've had lots of you asking for an update and I'm sorry um, it's taken so long, but here I am. Um, so if you've been following my journey, I am currently pregnant um, with an IVF uh, PGD and PGS tested embryo um, after the loss of four um, babies and three of them were due to a fatal genetic condition called short rib polydactyly type 3. So we went ahead with IVF, um, our first transfer failed and um, I had a chemical pregnancy and the second one took. So I am currently 21 weeks and four days pregnant with a baby boy. Um, if you didn't see, I did post the gender reveal um, on my YouTube channel as well, so you can check that out. Um, I have my appointment today, my monthly appointment, and all is well so far. Uh, I also had my detailed scan at about 19 weeks. Uh, they measure everything and everything looked really good, babies. Uh, limbs were good, kidneys were good, all the things that were wrong with the other babies were good. So that was reassuring. Um, and if anyone, if any of you have been following my story, you may know that I did after, um, after I lost my daughter, which was our last loss um, in May of last year, I ended up getting placenta in Creta. And so with this pregnancy, they are being very thorough and checking and really watching for placenta accreta or increta or anything along those lines um, because it can be very dangerous, very serious. Um, and I'm actually quite lucky to still have my uterus um, after going through that, but I do. And so, so far things are looking good. There's no signs of it at all. And um, where my placenta is placed, it's quite unlikely that I will end up getting it, but there's always a possibility, unfortunately, only two out of three cases of placenta creta can be diagnosed in pregnancy. Um, and so some go undiagnosed the whole time. So regardless of whether it seems like I have it or not, we still need to act kind of as though I do. So as of now, my next ultrasound will be in about a month. And that's just because I asked for one and um, for some peace of mind and just so we can do another growth. Uh, check and things like that and then I have another one at 32 weeks um, at the end of November and that will be to check for placenta accreta again. So I want to show you as you can see my belly is not too big yet. It's kind of just starting to pop out a little bit um, but here are the last pictures that I got of him. Um, this was at 19 weeks like I said I'm almost 22 weeks now. So he has his hand up by his face and then we have a cute 3D one there. He was being kind of stubborn, but you can see his, his lips, his nose, and his eyes. So those are the pictures that I have now. And then um, lastly, I just wanted to say that this week's been a little bit tough on me. Um, today, actually at 21 weeks, four days, is when I delivered Nate. And that was my longest pregnancy. So, um, I, you know, when I go to sleep, I just, I'm thinking about Nate and I'm remembering holding him and the size of him and all of that. And I know that this baby right now is the exact same size. And, um, you know, so that's really tough. Um, just kind of getting past that point of where I was with my pregnancy with Nate and, uh, being right around 22 weeks. So um, glad to kind of get past this stage and be further than I've been before and know that this baby boy is healthy and we're super excited for him to join us um, in our family. And I am due January 19th, so um, shortly after Christmas. And we are very excited and hoping that it goes fast. I usually don't like summer to end, but right now I'm kind of ready um, for him to come. So Thanks so much for checking in and for following my journey. Like always, I really appreciate it. And I will be sure to update after my next ultrasound in about a month. Bye guys.